in the space of science and huge favored bits of knowledge, the subject of what existed early on to the gigantic effect has mixed discussions and captivated characters for a really long time. This Goliath demand doesn't simply test how we could unravel the universe. It challenges the veritable farthest objectives of human information. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, inspecting the immense shadowing and considering what lay there before our universe was envisioned. The occasion of the Big Bang denoted the start of history, space, and what we know. In any case, there was a moment sooner ahead of time. This may there in the end have been a state of nothingness, a calm before the ranting gathering began. And if this is real, was it? Or maybe there was something fundamentally more disturbing that existed before time itself. As we jump further into this question, science takes us on an excursion past the universe's early phase into contemplations that challenge our care. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his commitment to the wonders of the universe, suggests that something stunning could have existed before the Big Bang. He moves us to reevaluate our thinking of the veritable world and presence. In this assessment, we'll destroy the science, the hypothesis, and the amazing insider secrets that could figure out what existed prior to all that. We'll explore examinations like faithful improvement, quantum changes, dark energy, and even the multiverse. The answers we've uncovered may very well smother you, yet they could also open new understandings of our situation in the universe. Prepare to dive deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dark still winds around the shadows, leaving researchers stunned and, sometimes, even steamed. Let's analyze what existed before the Big Bang and why these speculations challenge all that we expected we knew. To appreciate what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to take a gander at what the Big Bang, in fact, was. The Big Bang, as researchers describe it, was the event when the universe turned out to be remarkably hot and thick, growing quickly to set off the development of all matter, energy, and unlimited forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot starting with systems fanning out from a beginning point. In any case, what caused this to happen? Was there a time before this thick, hot beginning? As shown by the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a previously, and it was far to void or calm. Cosmic inflation suggests that, previously the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and free, essentially like an awe-inspiring vacuum. In any case, the vacuum wasn't totally unfilled. It contained a massive sum of energy that controlled the fast augmentation of space itself. This development, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it, for the most part, settled the justification for all that would go on in a portion of a continuous space. It extended at mind-blowing rates until the expansion dialed back and the energy changed into issue particles and the forces we think about in the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? For what reason did it, from nowhere, encourage the universe, and for what reason did it stop? Researchers accept that this limitless extension made patches of the universe, each encountering its own Big Bang. Imagine a texture augmenting incessantly, with short fuel air bubbles forming, each air pocket addressing a universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes that there are possibly unimaginable Big Bangs and an unlimited number of universes. Our own is only one of many. This enormous, mind-blowing reality challenges how we could interpret the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is hypothetical, not real, at least according to our ongoing understanding. Regardless of whether you kill all energy particles and radiation from the universe, it would still not be really void. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that we've yet to fully comprehend. Even in its most unfilled design, the universe still holds something. Whether or not we envision stripping away these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still generate new types of energy. This reality is bewildering to researchers, as it suggests that true nothingness may be impossible within our current understanding of space. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that keep it from being totally unfilled. Imagine creating a district with literally nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and negative energy, except for quantum fields and immense constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For example, there's an idea called zero-point energy, 
which addresses the most incomprehensible energy condition of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still show up and dissipate, making a terrifying resonance of change, even in what ought to be void space. This challenges what we would call a genuine void and suggests that even before the Big Bang, there was something. Investigators are still beginning to appreciate this. Possibly one of the most surprising hypotheses in current cosmology is the possibility of undying development. If inflation could make our universe, it's possible it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes an extraordinarily large inflationary multiverse, where universes are incredibly made and grow. Imagine each Big Bang as a flash lighting another universe, while inflation occurs in different areas, creating countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, occur forever. This idea of titanic universes creating others leads to a fascinating thought of a fractal universe, where each new universe may, in fact, create its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as an alternate free space, unaffected by the others. For scientists, this speculation is both thrilling and disturbing, as it suggests a relentless multiverse with no clear start or end. Imagine our universe being just a speck in a giant cosmic arrangement, constantly creating and continuously making new universes. What if that's the real essence of reality? There is no previously or later, but maybe an undying pattern of universes forming. How we could interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. As shown by this theory, the universe isn't simply a blend of matter floating in space. Maybe it's a complicated association of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to make everything we observe. These fields are like immaterial oceans, with part particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their least energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can show up and dissipate in these fields instantly, getting energy before returning it. This characteristic leads to virtual particles, substances that instantly exist and then evaporate, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The idea of virtual particles challenges the credibility of a genuine void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are eliminated. Would you have, in fact, nothing? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain dynamic, sometimes creating transient particles. This consistent evolution in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't conform to our concept of void. The fields and forces continue, filling the universe with private energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This raises a captivating question. If fields make particles and particles make matter, could the real universe have emerged from this nothingness, filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is an odd force that currently drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. Anyway, did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? According to some perspectives, the fact that dark energy exists today is a delayed consequence of an energy field from before our universe's development. The properties of dark energy imply that a monster, mysterious force could have existed in some form before the Big Bang. Some theories suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger state, could have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy suggests that whether our universe was emptied of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to develop the outer layer of space-time. This thought leads to a disturbing question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, could it have eventually formed the conditions that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent architect of inflation or even the true beginning of our universe? As we explore this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy not as a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could unlock the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another hypothesis is that cyclic cosmology offers an alternative to the Big Bang as a definitive beginning. This theory suggests that the universe goes through gigantic patterns of birth, death, and renewal. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event, but perhaps part of an undying cycle where universes form independently and then rejuvenate in another cycle. This theory suggests that our universe could have been restored from the remnants of a previous universe. The process of compression and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean that there was never a true beginning, but rather an eternal series of universes emerging and renewing themselves again and again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant questions. 
Never a better time than right now, as it suggests that time itself could repeat rather than continue. If this hypothesis is right, it could mean that what existed before the Big Bang was essentially another form of the universe, one that fell exclusively to give birth to our current universe. For scientists, this theory offers a rich solution to the question of extreme origins, suggesting that there is no clear beginning. The universe has always existed in some form, transcending our concepts of time and existence. Gravitational waves are another intriguing thought that could shed light on what existed before the Big Bang. These waves, discovered in 2015, are ripples in spacetime caused by incredibly massive objects, like black holes or colliding neutron stars. These waves can travel great distances, carrying information about the events that created them. Could gravitational waves provide insight into the creation of the universe? A few physicists suggest that gravitational waves from the time before the Big Bang might offer clues about the state of the universe before inflation began. Gravitational waves from the early universe may leave traces that could help us understand whether the Big Bang was truly the beginning, or whether there were cosmic events before that we don't yet appreciate. These waves could be remnants left by events past our usual understanding. Their presence might also imply a greater structure beyond the one we are familiar with. These faint signals could open insights that could change our perspective. Just as we uncovered the Big Bang's origin, consider the possibility that they show the faint traces of a past universe or an event that occurred prior to the Big Bang. As researchers continue to explore the deep reaches of space, the question remains, what existed before the Big Bang? With current hypotheses highlighting quantum mechanics, multiverses, and cosmic expansion, it seems we are closer than ever to unraveling the deep secrets of the universe's beginnings. While the complete answer remains elusive, our understanding of what existed before the Big Bang continues to evolve with each discovery. As we explore these hypotheses, we can also consider how they may fit together to reveal the larger picture, the true essence of existence itself. But until then, we are left with the mystery driving science and wandering into obscure places, far beyond what we have yet known. We continue to delve into the secrets of what existed before the Big Bang. Clearly, our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. One critical area of investigation involves the relationship between existence itself and time. As we experience it, time may not have existed in the way we understand it before the Big Bang. Some theories propose that time as a concept started with the Big Bang making it impossible to trace what came before. This thought challenges our fundamental perception of existence, suggesting that the question of before may not actually be relevant when it comes to the universe's origins. Moreover, later advances in the study of quantum mechanics have sparked new ideas about the nature of reality. One particularly captivating concept is the possibility of a quantum vacuum, a state where, even in the absence of matter, the universe isn't genuinely empty. Rather, it is filled with fluctuating energy fields that can give rise to particles and forces. These quantum fluctuations could have played a crucial role in the formation of the universe, as they might have provided the essential conditions for the Big Bang to occur. This raises the question of whether the universe might have emerged from a quantum change or, alternatively, if it was somehow triggered by these fluctuations. Another intriguing aspect of pre-Big Bang theory revolves around the idea of cosmic recycling in cyclic cosmology. The universe goes through an endless series of expansions and contractions. After each Big Bang, the universe would ultimately contract back into a singularity before expanding again. This cyclical process could truly mean that the current state of the universe is just the latest iteration in an eternal series of cosmic births and deaths. Some scholars propose that each cycle could lead to slightly different outcomes, with the current configuration of the universe being shaped by the conditions of the previous cycle. This idea challenges the notion of a definite beginning, suggesting instead that the universe is in a constant state of renewal. The possibility of additional dimensions also adds another layer of complexity to how we might interpret what preceded the Big Bang. String theory, for example, suggests the existence of extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. These additional dimensions could provide an entirely new framework for understanding the universe's origins.